Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Egypt campaign on Legendary Difficulty. As you can see on the screen right now, we have Alexander's Legacy which is minus 20% resistance to foreign occupation. We have plus 10% morale for all units during battles against other Hellenic factions. Ptolemaic Enlightenment gives us a plus 10% research rate, that's going to be pretty important in this campaign. Foreign Dynasty, plus 25% public order penalties due to the presence of foreign cultures. And our naval prowess gives us plus one experience rank for Egyptian ship recruits. Anyway guys, I will be clicking the start button and I shall see you all on the campaign map. Your former vassals, Cyrenaica, have deigned to declare their independence and must be brought to heel. Cyprus remains true, but is at risk from invasion, as are your eastern possessions. The Seleucid Empire is a particular threat, a sprawling successor kingdom desperate to maintain power by whatever means possible. An alliance with Nabataea may help to keep them in check. Maintain trade relations with the Greek states and beware of Macedonian treachery, as they too may seek to gain control of Alexander's former empire. Egypt shall be victorious. Okay guys, welcome back to the campaign and we are playing as Egypt and our first objective is to control three provinces either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military allies. This gives us 2,500 in our treasury. We're not going to worry about that for now though. So, quick overview of the map and you can see that we have Egyptus, we have part of Nabatea as well and Jerusalem. I'm thinking perhaps go towards Ethiopia, the Seleucids and Libya. To do this I will need three armies, one in the east, one in the west and one in the south. First thing we're going to do is get this, Way of Horus that gives us the Perioikai camp and the Holisteros barracks. That's vital because at the moment I don't think we can recruit anything decent or at least we can recruit some decent units in Egypt but we can't anywhere else in the map. We are at war with Saranasia and I will be attacking them with this fleet by here. Boom. And obviously I'm not going to fight them with two units because that would be insane. They do have a lot more men than that. Although most of them are just mob. If I could take out the two ships and who knows. I will be maintaining the blockade Set though. Blockade. And our first move will be to take this army from Alexandria to Paritonion. The cast of Horus. I will change that name in a few moments. I'm going to Settlement. encircle for now and then I will change the name. And we will go with, hmm, something a little bit basic, but it makes me know what is, what is what in this campaign. And I will go with the wheel. That's going to be our first battle in this campaign. Alexandria can be expanded, which we will do. And we will go with consecrated ground because we want that public order and Hellenic boost as well. We want to make sure this army is able to deal with the Seleucids if they attack us. So we're going to upgrade Jerusalem. And we will probably recruit a unit of slingers for now. And we can probably upgrade Jerusalem as well. And we're going to go for a muster field. So that's our borders being protected in Jerusalem there. We're also expanding our borders to the west. We'll probably go for Ammonium as well and then take out all of Libya. And then I want a third army then to go southwards and take all of Ethiopia. So we're going to build it here in Diospolis. And we're going to go with Seleucus. He can have war elephants. He's going to stay in Diospolis. And he can't recruit anything yet, but he will be recruiting some units shortly. Anyway, we will now be fighting this battle. To battle, to battle we go. I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome to the battlefield. I've gone with the Christmas tree formation for this battle. As you can see, they have some mob units in front of me. 
We look pretty eager, so we'll keep my Christmas tree and we will go forward in the Christmas tree formation. My general is giving some sort of speech, which isn't that good. I could definitely give a better speech than that. Men of Egypt, this is your king, King Dragonheart. I wish for you all to try and take this settlement for power, for glory, and for gold. Now go out there and kick some bum. There we go. Much better than any speech that this game has produced. We will be slinging towards the mob, get some free experience for us there, and take my ships and bring them forward. I could probably disembark across the coast back here. I can't really see across the back at the moment because of the camera angle restrictions in legendary difficulty. Yes, I can't see at the moment. I'm just going to have to go back to my units over here. Sorry for the quick camera uh, spring. Melee infantry are ready. Bring the pikemen forward. I'm going to have a little view, a little zoom in view of my my men fighting here in the rain. Egyptian slingers, look at them go. Very light Egyptian slingers. Oop. Getting lots of kills in for me. Mobber down to... Oh, he just got hit in the face. That was not very nice. That's what happens when you go to war with the mighty Egypt. The Egyptians for the win. Let's push right up now with everything. Haven't lost a man yet. Quite proud of that statistic. King Dragonheart is quite proud of that indeed. And what do they have left? I don't think they have much here, do they? Oh, they have some Egyptian javelins. Oh, of course, they had ships, didn't they? They had transport ships. I may be needing to use my slingers on them. Let's go for the general anyway. The general's here. Let's get some easy kills on the general. And my general can actually... Actually, I don't think he will be able to chase the mob. Will he catch them? He may catch them. We'll see how he does. Get some easy experience for my general early in this campaign, if possible. Ah, and their ships are there. I can see them now. We can actually disembark one of our ships here. Which I'm going to do. My Radiant Hemiolia can disembark there. While my tower can just chill on the coastline of there. Slingers are getting some kills on the general, I think. No, they're not. Check your weapons. Damn it, that's not good. Oh, they've killed one, that's good. Egyptian infantry will be group locked and will be told to charge. The same with the pikemen. Group locked and ready to charge. Did my general catch them? Oh, he's, he's not going to catch them. Let's just bring him back. Be a waste chasing them. Right then, we can now get our ships involved. William Hemiolia will be there before long. My support ships can probably fire from the beach, so we will try and get them as close as possible to this tower. We can hit them in the rear then, which would be nice for me and not nice for them. Oh, and we're just attacking their, their general right now. My slingers can now aim for the mob behind them. They're only Egyptian infantry, so they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. The pikes are just going to charge forward. General's going to flank around. Come to the side street and take them through the street. This unit will be disembarking right now. Which means that we can bring them forward. And hit them on this flank as well. My pikemen. Or at least some of my pikemen. Are now attacking them there. Slingers go for the javelins. Javelins will be outranged by my slingers. Oh, and here we go. We're just bombing right through them. Egyptian infantry is down to 70. Oh, look at that. That was impressive. He completely tossed him with his shield then. <laughs> is my boat able to fire from here? I don't think they are. No, it's a shame. Anyway, we'll bring my unit of missiles forward. My Egyptian javelins. They can hit the mob from here. And this battle should be won fairly easily. The general's dead. Getting lots of kills. We're able to outflank them now as well. Fire! The Egyptian infantry. Go for the kills! 
Oh man, this is awesome. This is pretty awesome, guys. Taking our first settlement in this campaign. With fire and blood, we will take it. I like the shield designs as well, they're quite cool. And they are starting to route right now as well. Pike's doing a good job. I could have done, made this a, a much cleaner victory. I suppose I could have used my slinger's ammunition on just the javelins first because they outranged them. Could kneecap the javelins, then outflank them, then hit them all at once simultaneously. I didn't go for that though. I went for the the. Ooh, my Egyptian infantry is actually routing here. That's not good. I could have formed up my pikemen better. Perhaps micromanage them, but I want to take my first settlement quickly. Quickly and swiftly, take it. We await your orders. Let's get these on to uh, melee. I have my general, of course. I haven't used my general yet. Let's bring him forward, get him in, get some free experience for him, if possible. Javelin men. They are routed now. Take formation attack off. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Shouldn't have been using formation attack. And we can end the battle there. Close victory for Egypt. Deployed 1,300, lost 412. 702 kills. Battle duration 6 minutes 46. And who had the most kills? Let's check out my slingers. Nope. My. Pikeman had 173 and my general didn't get any. That was my fault, I didn't use him at all. I probably should have. Oh well, we all make mistakes. <laughs> so, we have taken Paratonion. We will occupy, of course. And he has increased in rank, so we will be increasing him now.